Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles, and I welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And boy, oh boy, we got another interesting episode for you guys, so make sure you go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, just under two weeks ago, about a 10 or 11 days ago, we produced a video about Jason Williams. And in that video, Jason Williams... My opinion, and the opinion of many, made one of the most ridiculous head-scratching comments against Michael Jordan, or arguments, rather, against Michael Jordan. For those of you who missed those comments, because they made some news, but maybe not everyone heard it or read, it, read, read about it. So for those of you who missed some of the comments that Jason, uh, that Jason, William, J- Jason Williams had to make about Michael Jordan, we, we initially got that article uh, from basketballnetwork.net. For those of you who missed it, I want to read a little bit, or read re- rather, uh, what he had to say about Michael Jordan. And we're going to come back here and really get into the meat of what he said. So take a look. Let's, let's get into the article of what he had to say here. So let's, let's get into that here. When MJ played, the refs would forgive a legal defense, which would be a shot and a ball from the side. What that means was, let's say MJ had the ball on the wing and his primary defender was guarding him. And then the guy on the weak side and the weak side corner, whoever was guarding that guy had to stay on the opposing block. So MJ had to beat the first guy and the primary defender had no chance because nobody could guard nobody one-on-one, especially Michael Jordan. He then continues on. Nowadays, they change the rule. And if LeBron has the ball on the wing, the primary defender is right there. And there's a secondary, def- second- secondary defender on uh, on the ball side elbow. And he has another sec- secondary defender at the ball side block. He is not worried about the primary defender because he goes by him and makes the right pass. I think LeBron receives a lot of BS at the end of games because he doesn't take the shot because he makes the right play for a guy that is wide open. And of course, he's going to make the play where MJ... <laughs> where MJ, when he played, there was that illegal defense BS. So he would just get by his guy and score all the time because he only had one guy. He then continues on to say, I don't think a lot of people realize about the illegal defense back in the day. They just see Jordan scoring all po- you know all those points. And rightfully so, he was a bad dude. Don't get me wrong. LeBron's got it different because now it's harder to score in the NBA than it was back then. I understand Jordan got beat down by the pisses and people say they would they would do that to lebron no they wouldn't because lebron is bigger than these dudes they might foul him hard but they ain't knocking him down like they did michael jordan basically what he was saying was that michael jordan had an advantage during during his time in the nba that essentially allowed him to catch the ball with only one defender on him then after he made his move, then a second a secondary defender would come over to you know double him or whatever it was. Because back in the day, if you had a player that left the weak side to come over to the strong side, it was considered a legal defense. But nowadays, you could load up on the strong side of the ball. So when the offensive uh, uh, so, so whenever the offensive player in this case LeBron or whoever caught the ball, he would be in a crowd. He would be looking at two or three defenders facing him. And he was saying that that was something that, that Jordan did not have to face uh, in the past as an offensive uh, player. He was basically saying that somehow it would be harder for Michael Jordan to score in today's NBA than it was for him in the past. Everyone that read that read those comments and, heard, and you know uh, listened to that totally laughed him off the stage. I mean, we we thought it was the most ridiculous thing to say. And in fact, it was. How many 50-point, 60-point games have we seen this NBA season already? And it's so hard to score. So we all know that that notion is laughable uh, on its face. But he's not done. Because now it seems like he's back at it again. Or maybe it's coming from the same clip. And he's now talking about Shaquille O'Neal. The most dominant force in in the history of the NBA. And it seems like... You know, Jason Williams thinks that it will be difficult. It would have been difficult for Shaq as well. So for those of you who missed his comments, we want to play some of the comments that he, that he had to make about Shaquille O'Neal. And we're going to come back and unpack this thing. So let's get into that here. Um, I thought you had a really good point about uh, the, you know, like Jordan didn't have to deal with like illegal defense, you know, and, and these kind of different defense, like things that like the game, the game evolves. That's what happens. Right. Um, but like, I'm curious about, I'm curious about how you think about that. You know, you put, 
let's say 90, let's say 93 era Jordan in the league today, what do you see? You know, I mean, obviously he's going to be, he's going to be great. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong, but I think it'll be a little harder for him now because like you said, the, the defense, the defenses have changed and now he's going to have, he's going to have three guys on the same side of the floor when he has the ball in the wing. Whereas back in the day, he just had one guy. And, and of course, I mean, I mean, anybody in the NBA is going to beat anybody one-on-one, um, um, let alone Michael Jordan. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, I think he'd be great, be an all-star for sure, but, but not, not, not the Michael Jordan that he was back then, if that's fair to say. Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, because the, because the game is just different. It's just so not- different, you know, like, like, like Shaq, Shaq wouldn't be as dominant as he, as he was back then today, you know, just because there'll be five, four or five guys around him. They didn't even have the ball. So let me get this straight. When was the last time you saw in an NBA game, right? Where you saw an offensive player have three or four defenders sent to him. When was the last time you saw something like that happen? Like when, when was it? When did you last see? a quadruple or triple to quadruple team in the NBA today, given the advent of the three-point shot where teams are averaging over 35 three-point attempts. When was the last time you saw an NBA team send three defenders at one single player, knowing that the NBA today, the floor is so spaced out and they have shooters all over the floor? When was the last time you saw something? You know the last time you saw it? You never saw it. You never saw it. Secondly, he just exposed himself again. If they are sending three to four defenders to Shaq, it means that Shaq would have been a living nightmare in the end. Why would you send three to four defender, defenders to, to, to an offensive player? Are you not essentially saying that if we don't triple and quadruple team this guy, he is going to toast us and roast us. That is essentially what you, he's basically saying that Shaq would be so dominant in today's NBA, but he doesn't realize that that's what he's saying. He doesn't realize that. But someone, he believe, and somehow he believes that Shaq would struggle in today's NBA. So help me understand this. You feel like Shaq would struggle, yet you feel like they would send three to four defenders at him. But how does that work? He's unwittingly saying that Shaq would be so dominant in in today's NBA that he would need three or four defenders to stop. That's essentially what Jason Williams is saying without even realizing. He even said at one point, I think maybe he said it in that clip, that Michael Jordan would be like an all-star. Like, 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 like what is going, why, why why do we, why, why do people come out there and say this type of stuff? Like what? Why would you say something like that? And this, I can understand if this came from Nick Wright. If Nick Wright says something like this, I'll totally get it. Because Nick Wright is known to say ridiculous stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever. But this is coming from a former NBA player. A former NBA player is the one saying this type of stuff. To me, I think the guy just exposed himself. There's no, there's no sense to what this guy is saying. There is no sense to what everybody that understands basketball has said, if Michael Jordan played in the NBA today, he would average 40. Everyone knows this except Jason Williams. He's the only one I've heard make this type of this type of argument. And to me, I think it's totally ridiculous. Just stop talking. Like, just stop, please. Like, spare all of us.